Let's go, motherfucker. Full Metal Dojo 10. Crazy. Oh my god. Hot girls, let's go. Not awkward at all. Feeling good? Feeling good, guys? Oh, good. Getting ready to fight each other? That's cool. I think you're fine. Do God's work. <laughs> you know what I'm doing. Do God's work. B row, baby. B row. Total production, right? I'm like, listen, guys. What up, motherfuckers? Fuck you. Evan, me 10. No, 10 year. 10 year anniversary. First fight winner, Sam the man. You you look pretty fucked up, but like you, you, <laughs> I feel pretty fucking great. Well, you got two beers. You're going absolutely mental tonight, man. No, I'm I gotta, having a great time, bro. You absolutely fucking dominated. I've seen you dominate so many times in the Full Metal Dojo. How does, does this one any feel any special or because it's the ten years? Any it just feel any different to you? Of course, of course. Ten tenth year anniversary, right? Yeah. And many more to come. Thank many you. more to come. This was an exciting opener to the night. Right after yeah. UFC 303, they didn't get McGregor, but they yeah. got Fake McGregor. They, hey, Fake and McGregor. He came in swinging, baby. Fake McGregor right. showed up. I I love the fight. You were peppering his body like absolutely mental. A little, you got dropped a little bit in the first there. Did that? I did. Did that? Did mess I get you? dropped? You got dropped a little bit. Did just, but you sprung right back up and you, you wrestled the fuck out of him. How about that? A bit of lazy leopard conditioning with the grappling, and I came back. He's not gonna out wrestle me, baby. He's not yeah. gonna out grapple me. You, you're up there, lazy leopard, Chiang Mai, right? That's right, brother. So, what's it like being up there in Chiang Mai? Chiang Mai is where I met my wife and I started my my life. Seven years later, five children later, we live in Chiang Mai again. I train at Lazy Leopard with brother Greg Fredlin, jiu-jitsu jiu specialist, and he's <laughs> raising me up with my grappling brother. They called the leopard out of the mountains. I came down and took a bite out of his ass, man. God damn, you sure fucking did, man. I just want to say absolutely congratulations. Um, bare knuckle rising, please call me. I want that bare knuckle in Japan. Want Please. Bare knuckle in Japan. Please. Please. Anywhere, anytime. Anywhere, anytime. Anything, brother. Let's Absolutely. fucking go. The lazy leopard art himself. Lazy leopard, man. Let's go. Thank you. Thank Uncle you so much. Uncle Sam in Bangkok. Full Metal Dojo 10th anniversary. Let's go. Any other shout outs you want to do? Yeah, Conor McGregor. Keep doing great, brother. Love you. Fake Conor McGregor to real Conor McGregor. Thank you so much, Thank mate. you, brother. Go Thank enjoy you. your night. Thank Cheers. You. I'm here with the main sponsor of Rage, Brian Flowers. He owns a dub. Largest gym in Thailand? Is it it's going to be the largest gym in uh, Thailand. We're just building it out at the moment. It's 11.4 uh, Rai. We're going to build another 100 rooms on there. We've got 38 rooms. And then we've got CrossFit. We've got uh, a gym area, MMA. We've, we've got everything at the moment, but it's just a small gym. But with the extra land, it's going to be 11.4 Rai altogether. So we're going to have the biggest gym in Thailand based in Pattaya. The biggest gym in town. That that's pretty cool to see. Now, what do you think of promotions like this, uh, Full Metal Dojo, and how important that is for the Thailand scene of MMA, especially as a gym owner yourself? What I like about this event is I've just been to another event recently, and they're spending like four times the amount of money. But with this event, they're going viral all over the world, and it does bring people here. And then you've got people like Mike Tyson and Snoop Dogg sharing some of the videos. So I think from the value of a sponsorship is very good and it gets the, gets the eyes of the worlds on Thailand. Yeah, it's the, especially with like such a fight focused culture and stuff. Um, final question, you watch the fights there now, I gotta ask which one was your favorite fight? The first one was my favorite, but unfortunately the guy's broke his jaw and he's in the hospital at the moment. So um, yeah, I, I liked all of them, but the thing about the wrestling is that They've been at a few events recently and people love that because they're getting the audience, they get everyone out of their chair. 
and it's just complete madness in there and I've invited quite a few uh, YouTubers there today and they all loved it because it's just like a viral picnic they call it a viral picnic that is that's FMD summed up in one nice package a viral <laughs> that's awesome hey man thank you so much for the thank interview you. have an amazing day enjoy Cheers. thank you No time, let's go! Hello, I am Toby here with Combat Matrix. We are here in Bangkok, Thailand, sunny Bangkok, at the Full Metal Dojo 10th anniversary. I'm here with Chris Cherry. You are the winner of the first ever four-man tournament. Uh, knees, elbows, feet. How are you feeling, man? How was your how was your performance? How are you feeling after everything? Uh, feeling pretty good. I cut a lot of weight. Obviously, you could see I was the biggest guy, but uh, that's what it takes. You got to suffer the most, and whoever suffers the most in training or in cutting weight is going to end up as a winner. And um, yeah, I ended up as a winner, just as I thought. Got a little lucky too, though, because uh, Dante, the first fight, he's a Taekwondo black belt, I believe, and he kicked the shit out of me in the third round. I gotta say, like he's a good kid. I can kick, not as good as him, not nearly as good as him. So he got. He got bad luck on his side. I had good luck on his side. I've been boxing since I'm like 13 years old, you know, so no problem for me. So the first fight, I would say luck. Luck and a little bit of skill because I'm good at boxing. You know, if I was shit at boxing, I wouldn't have won that. And uh, second fight, the size difference, you know, definitely the size difference. And the kid clearly didn't know how to wrestle or do jits or anything. So, yeah, I'm not going to stand here and say, like, oh, I'm the best in the world. But out of those four guys, uh, this day, I was the best. Well, you definitely showed up and showed out. That was really impressive. Out of curiosity, how much weight did you end up cutting? Nine kilos. Nine kilograms? Nine kil from 79 to 70.3. For all of you casuals at home, yeah. that's a lot of weight. A that's lot a weight. lot of weight. I can so make featherweight, though, too. If it's for a lot of money, I can make featherweight. can make 66. A true professional. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is, of course, is the 10th anniversary of Full Metal Dojo. Oh, yeah. I just want to ask you about the promotion. Have you, have you ever fought with them before? Oh, what? Brother. brother, I have a whole story about it. my coach. 10 years ago, I was in Germany. Ben Stark, one of the founders of Full, Full Metal Dojo. He, he was here. He was training. He was a jits coach at EMAC. EMAC, right? They're not that big, but they're still around. They're, they're a good gym. He was a jits coach there. Yeah? And he, after he had a stint at EMAC, he came to my gym, right, yeah. in Frankfurt, MMA Spirit. I was... 16, 17 years old, 16, 17 years old, and I would skip school and go train because I love training. You know, I love amateur boxing and I trained jits with him and everything. And yeah, I was around him like all day, every day. And he always told me about Bangkok. He's like, Bangkok. And me and my buddy John Nutt, we got this promotion, Full Metal Dojo, Full Metal Dojo. And I think around that time they were at Full Metal Dojo 3. So I would watch it. I would watch it. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And they had like the crazy shit, like, uh, like people walk out with a Hannibal Lecter mask and all that. I was like, this is awesome, you know? And uh, yeah, now 10 years later I came and I had my had an MMA fight here at Full Metal Dojo and I'm very grat grateful that, for that, very happy about that. So yeah, I got a whole story about that, you know? Would you definitely be open to fighting on Full Metal Dojo again? Yeah, there abso are absolutely, absolutely. I'm not skill-wise and I think experience-wise for MMA, I'm not at the level yet where I can compete at the higher leagues, PFL, Bellator, Rise and whatever. But I'm so I'm definitely down to yeah. still fight for FMD again. Keep growing, keep expanding. Keep yeah. Growing. Well, there's definitely going to be fight illusion every month. Yeah, Full Metal Dojo. I'm down so for that. I'm down for that. Trust All me. All right, watch out. This guy's on the scene. It's going to do some scene. killing. Yes. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Thank man. You. Enjoy you. your victory. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm backstage here with Bob the Beast Sap. <laughs> That's right, Bob the Beast Sap, chilling at Full Metal Dojo in Thailand, hearing the big sounds in the background, and of course, big laughs with John Nutt as well. Of course, of course. So, 
It's 10 years of Full Metal Dojo. Of course, you've known the crew, John, all these guys for a while now. What do you What do you think of the show? What do you think of the atmosphere? What, what do you think? You know, I tell you, when I first got into this uh, Full Metal Dojo, you know, I came in here, I did a couple little laughs. You know, I came in and I remember I, I hit uh, John Nutt right up beside the face and some some midgets come jumped on in there. <laughs> but little did I know that it was going to expand over to so well. We later have brought on some influencers such as Broly Gaines, yeah. Broly Gaines for the, the pillow fight. And of course, you had Quinton Rampage Jackson yeah. and myself with the uh, the twin boxing league. I was there, the Siamese yeah. boxing. Yes. That was crazy, man. That was, that was, awesome. That was awesome. And then who can forget, you know, the singing and uh, the karaoke contest with Tyson Fury. That was the Tyson yeah. Fury. I was there yeah. too, man. Yeah, that was absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. And so now, when we expand off into the 10th anniversary for other big sponsors such as Rage yeah. and Ryzen, yeah. you know that Fight Circus is going places. Fight Circus is definitely going places. No, I... Of course, we're in Bangkok, Thailand, yes. Sin City, out here in the east. Uh, you, you've obviously been fighting in Asia for a long time. You've yes. been here for a while. What are your overall thoughts of the city and how it's changed or over time or anything like that? Well, I tell you, it's it's getting more excitement. There's more excitement. There's there's more fun, as everyone knows. Um, there's some new laws here yeah. that have, that have everybody <laughs> smiling mm-hmm. and enjoying a little bit more in Thailand than before in the past. Yeah. So things are really looking up. Hey, I'm loving every bit of it. Every second of it. So bye, so bye. <laughs> we love having you here, Bob. Thank you Thank so you. much. Always a pleasure. Always good. Absolutely. Hope we keep going to these things. Cheers, man. We have the we have the comedy joint here. We got we have the Bill Gurry right here. This mm-hmm. is Casey King. I don't know why I do and this, we got Christoph like, Davidson visiting us from Canada this, here. Man. You guys are regulars at the joint. This guy's visiting us from Canada. It's fantastic. And what's your experience here in Bangkok? Uh, there's a lot of humanity here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> humanity turned up to 11. Is what That's I mean. yeah, 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 yeah. Real primal shit right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Phil, you just got here? How do you think of it? It's crazy, man. It's like I so much, almost so much fun being here. And everybody's going crazy. And it's crazy. I love it. KC, now you're 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 Thai, yeah. And you were born here, and now this shit's happening. Have you ever even seen anything like this? Yeah, but no, but I don't give a fuck about that. I thought I'd be the <laughs> smallest motherfucker here, but there were there are midgets everywhere. <laughs> I'm not the smallest guy. Yeah. <laughs> we got a, we got our own midget down there. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm not a fucking midget. Dick. <laughs> yeah, you are, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Great. Thank you. Okay. So you hold the beer in one hand. Also here with Tommy Hayden from Combat Matrix as well. Absolute legend in the sport. Everyone knows. Tommy, you were fighting here today. Can you just explain what that was? Because every time I see you fight or do anything with this promotion, it's crazy. It's a shit show. Well, you know, I wanted to drink some beer. And sometimes you got to drink a beer or two and have a fight while you're doing it. And so I tried to drain six during my uh, five-minute bout. Total. Time. So you had a beer in one hand yeah. and a boxing glove in the other hand. Yeah. And you fought Mr. Fight. Yes. And he was swinging. He, he was, was... Okay, there's a little, I played a little prank on you because it was supposed to be an exhibition fight, but then I told them that it was a pressure fight. 
I told I told them in the back that it was a professional fight and that it would go on their record. I told them that that there. Did you think he was just? Do you think he didn't like you? He. Who the fuck does that? I do that. Why would you do that? For for content. All right, I I can't hate you. I can't hate him for content. All right, fine, fine. So you fucked around. You, you I, fu- I fucked face. around and you, you found out. Face. I found out. Do, that's no, the best. Actually, that's the best kind. Of, actually, he, no. th- he threw a couple hard ones and I caught him. I caught him and I I was able to catch the punches he threw, but he was going to the stomach pretty hard. Now, I felt like I was going to start vomiting, so. I had to protect that shit because if I did start vomiting, it might have actually made the fight better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't vomit for all. You're a pussy for not vomiting. Oh, oh, that's because I'm drunk. That's because well, I'm. Drunk. We'll cut that out in post. Got it. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, I got of, it. of course, you've been on this shit show for a long time now. Yep. Uh, with the Full Metal Dojo crew and everything, can you just kind of explain how it started off for you and how it's kind of evolved over the years? So I've been in Thailand for over nine years now. This was FMD 10th year anniversary, right? So when I first came here, I think it was FMD 4 or, or something like that, was the first time I was a coach there. Then I met this group of guys, um, and yeah, just through the networking and everything, you know, I ended up fighting for them. I ended up becoming their champion. And we've just had this long history. And so I've grown with them as they continue to grow and evolve. We all we all grow together. And, and what's happened is, you know, I've stepped up as their head official. Yeah. And yeah, now I do some fucking circus acts for you. For you. It's the for viewer. You. It's all for you. It's for you. Because why wouldn't I fight a guy with one hand while I'm drinking beer. Who the, who the fuck wouldn't want to do that? Street fight king in Thailand, by the way. F- I go check not, him out. Hey, 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 I do not fight in the street, sir. from Combat Matrix and I'm with Bob Tang. It's a famous viral video from the last fight circus. And here we go again this time. So, you Bob Tang. Family guy? Family guy. 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 เจ็บจริงมั้ยอันนี้รอบนี้ไม่เจ็บเท่าไหร่พี่ไม่รอบนี้ไม่เจ็บเท่าไหร่ใช่ครับพี่มันอยู่มันอยู่โอเคอันน
I'm here with Paul, the owner of The Box Thailand, the best boxing gym in Bangkok. How are you doing, man? What's it like being at the show here today? Uh, Toby, yeah, I'm very happy to be here today. There's been some great fights. I'm always uh, happy to support Full Metal Dojo, 10th anniversary, so yeah, let's go, baby. 10 years of Full Metal Dojo. You've been here for quite a while, if I remember, yeah. Yeah, I've been here for 10 years now, probably just a bit over 10 years. Um, to see something like this today is, uh, is great. John's a great guy. Uh, Full Metal Dojo is great. Let's go. Let's go, Full Metal Dojo. Of course, the Box Thailand doing absolutely amazing right now. Any fighters you want to shout out? Anything big coming up that we should know about? Okay, so right now we have uh, Mikhail from Russia who's fighting soon, okay? We we also have uh, Boss Coach Boss, shout out to him. Maito fighting next month, July the 6th on the Fight at TL Promotions. So yeah, we'll keep getting those wins and we'll keep going up and up. Absolutely awesome, man. These boxing guys, you gotta watch out for them. They're coming. They're coming for all you boxers. Let's go! <laughs> I'm here with your main event winner, Johnny Tello. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, brother. Yeah. yeah. So your fight was interesting. We usually see you boxing all the time, but we saw you with some Trinity rules. First round was boxing, second round was Muay Thai, and last round was MMA. Did that change your going into this fight or training for this fight or anything? How did you feel about that rule set? Well, I do everything. I've been doing everything for like over 15 years. People don't know that because recently I've been doing mainly bare knuckle boxing and stuff like that. So it is what it is. I just got off a plane like two days ago from Canada. Yeah. So I'm like 12 hour difference. So I'm super jet lagged. Right now I should be sleeping. So I'm trying to stay awake all night or whatever. But uh, long story short, I came here, whatever we put on a show. Uh, yeah, man, this was a great show in general. Uh, you know, I, I he was with his son and shit like that. So I didn't want to like go too hard on him. But the last round, as soon as we did the uh, MMA, I was like, all right, I got to take him down because I'm getting tired. Yeah. So uh, I took him down and then eventually you know, we're supposed to do with the MMA gloves, but then John's like, no, nah, keep the boxing gloves. I was like, all right. So, you know, it was a little bit uh, difficult to get my, move my hands around. But as well, soon you, as I got past that guard, I got him over, took his back, choked him out, and then it was cool. It was a beautiful rear naked choke. It's so good to see. Now, Full Metal Dojo, 10 years has been going on now. You've been a regular fighting around this part of the world and fighting in this organization. So what is, how does 10 years feel to you? What are you, any thoughts for the next 10? How does it feel? I've been here for like five years, so half of that. You're a halfway, okay? Uh, yeah, halfway. I, I saw my first my first show with them was the uh, Bare Knuckle Kingdom with the Bare Knuckle. Bare Knuckle Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, but since then, everything's grown a lot since the last fight circus. It was yeah. fucking dope, you know, yeah. having like this whole like uh, Hollywood production and shit like that. Yeah. This one here was a little bit more raw. Yeah. It was a good turnout, so man, it was uh, it, it was a great show. I don't know, yeah. I, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, well, they, clearly the crowd loves you. You always come, you always put on a show, and you always entertain. Thank you so much. Enjoy. I was going to say party, but you'll probably go sleep now, I'd say. No, I'm going to party. You're going to party? All right, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. He's going to party. Let's go. Yes. I'm here with Chris. What do you think of the shows, man? Uh, I think the shows are great. And uh, that's maybe goes without saying. John has been at it for, John Nutt has been at it for so long. And he always puts on something so special. Like his showmanship is top notch. The fighters are always great and interesting, so yeah, I, I cannot complain. I'm here with Mark, the owner of Stax Burgers, one of Full Metal Dojo's main sponsors. What do you think of the show, man? Oh, it's a great show. It's a great venue. It's really entertaining. Crowd's having a good time. Burgers, selling lots of burgers, so can't really complain. It's a, it's a great event, actually. Yeah. So, how long have you been affiliated with the Full Metal Dojo? How long does this go back for you? Do you know these guys for a while? Yeah, yeah. I actually went to the very first Full Metal Dojo really? ever. I guess that was 10 years ago, since it's the 10-year anniversary. So, I, yeah, was, I, was I was 8 then, just to, <laughs> just to clarify. That was a long time ago. So, yeah. how much has it actually changed in, in this time? Has it changed much still, just as much of a shit show in, in the first event? or? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, the first event, I think uh, I think they've done a great job of throwing in kind of the wrestling and mixing it up a little bit, so kind of a little bit more fun fun bouts in between as well. So, but I mean, anytime John's involved, it's always entertaining. Yeah. So, uh, John Nutt is psycho. So, you're our main sponsor, uh, Stax Burgers. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Stax Burgers, how, how it came to be, just sort of shut out the company a little bit you know yeah yeah sure so stacks burgers we've been going officially for about six years uh but we have another burger brand called daniel tiger that's been in bangkok we're in our 11th year of business 
So we've been doing burgers forever in Bangkok. Smash burgers are quite popular these days. Uh, so Stax was one of the first to be doing smash burgers. We had a pop-up on Tong La. This is back in the day, six, seven years ago. And uh, it's a spin-off concept of Daniel Tiger's. So Stax is our simple concept, right? So you're stacking beef, cheese, ketchup, mustard, pickles, and onions smashed into the patty. So keep it simple, basic, but still delicious because we use good quality beef. And everything. Both of those companies are absolutely amazing. I personally, I live in Bangkok. I've tried both of your burgers, and they are to die for. Now, I'm no burger expert, but I'm thinking maybe best burgers in Bangkok. I'm not, oh, I, I'm just saying, you know? Good to hear. We love to hear that. No, so. Awesome. Appreciate I hope it. you guys keep doing what you're doing. Thank you yep. so much for being Thank a you. sponsor Thank and being you. on this journey. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for the interview. I'm here with the absolute legend himself in Thai sport. He's an ab absolute legend. Peter Demon. Hi, Toby. Hi. <laughs> hi, Combat Matrix fans. I'm no legend. Yeah. I just try to do my best. Well, hi. Hi there. Yeah. Thank, I saw her to be a part, part of the interview. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, hey but guys, you are. Guys, guys, Peter Devin, man, you're like, the, like, you're the sick guy. I, I fucking love you, dude. I love you too. I love you. He's a, he's the real legend. Hey, Former hey. UFC fighter. Can you do the, can you do the stomach thing for me? Sure, sure, sure. Can you do the stomach thing? Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. God! Oh no! Oh, oh no! He's a great actor, guys. No. Uh, I, I don't think that's acting. You spilled the beer oh. too. I might need to, I'm gonna take a shit. I'm gonna take a shit. That's our CEO, Tommy Hayden. Great, some great comedy, guy. Some comedy some here true, in the combat True matrix. comedy. So, of course, it's always a bit of a shit show here. John, not the man. I just wanna ask you, it's been 10 years. What do you think of this journey that we've been in? Like, Thai, Thailand in general, it's been kind of exploding with combat sports. Right. You're, you're a Thai man yourself. I just wanna know your opinion on what you've seen for these last 10 years. Yeah. Right, so I really believe what Full Metal Dojo is doing is really profound because they supported the MMA scene when nobody really wanted to. It wasn't really a sport that was well received at the time by the uh, at the time by the Thai public. And what Full Metal Dojo did was they gave a platform for MMA fighters to thrive and actually become great superstars. So without Full Metal Dojo, we might not have a rich MMA scene today. So props to them and happy. 10-year uh, anniversary to Full Metal Dojo. Yeah, it's been absolutely incredible. Uh, there's been a bunch of fights on today. I've seen you record on some people for them. I just want to ask, what would you say your favorite fight is and why? Um, I think one of my favorite fights was uh, the main event, the last yeah. one, because like you could see how Johnny Tello, he had a lot of boxing skills. He's had like over like a hundred amateur boxing fights. And like uh, Daniel, he was very good at Muay Thai. So he was doing very well in the second round, but I didn't know what was gonna happen because I knew uh, Johnny was better at boxing and yeah. Daniel had more experience in Muay Thai. And it was up to the third round, the deciding round. And so it was really exciting. I was really impressed by the, the main event and also the wrestling. Yeah. We just don't get to see that every day. That was super entertaining. I did not expect that. I love it. Yeah. No, you could definitely see all that Johnny Tello in the tire box and coming through there on the ropes. It was actually really impressive. Of course, he finished the fight for rear naked choke at the right, end. So yeah. it was kind of cool to see him show some jujitsu at the end. Right, yeah. I remember uh, Tommy, guy who just punched, he was calling for takedowns the entire fight. So it was really good to see. Uh, I just really hope that we see the next 10 years of really awesome and see where, where it could grow. What do you think the future holds for MMA in Thailand in general? Of course, Muay Thai, it's incredible here. This is the capital of the world for Muay Thai. Uh, Muay Thai is actually going into the Olympics. Right. I want to know, what do you think of that? Right, so like, where do I see MMA going in Thailand? Yeah. I think it's getting received well now, nowadays, like with one championship holding it and full meta dojo, like pushing the sport for a, quite a long time. I think there's a place and location for MMA in the, in the hearts of Thai people, including myself. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be great for MMA. I hope it keeps going this way. And please, Full Metal Dojo, keep pushing the sport because we need you. And what do I think about Muay Thai and the Muay Olympics? Thai in the Olympics yeah. I think it's great like to have another sport in the Olympics to provide a platform for these young Muay Thai fighters or these well-established Muay Thai fighters to go in and show their skill set to yeah. the world and place the, the art of Muay Thai on the map, you know, on the yeah. world map. I think it's a great thing. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. Super excited to see what comes out of the next 10 years. Thank you so much for the interview, man. Thank you so much, Thank Toby. you very Thank much. You. Thank Cheers. you, Combat Matrix. Thank you, Tommy Hayden, for taking the body shot. Thank you, everyone.